All right, people, so I'm here to talk about a topic that's been in the news a lot lately, and that's Hillary Clinton's health. And I think it's a real concern. You know, I'm not saying that anything is um, definite or anything like that, but from all the, these things, all these episodes Hillary Clinton has gone through, there's definitely uh, questions that are that have to be asked. And nobody's saying, you know, or at least I'm not saying that, oh, definitely Hillary Clinton is a brain tumor or anything like that, but... I just want her examined by some independent doctors and health records released, something like that, because from what she's doing, uh, I don't, you know, it doesn't seem like she has the stamina, the energy, or the health to be president. So let's just take a look at uh, some things here. Uh, th this first thing is very um, uh, concerning, probably the most concerning thing uh, out of all. So let's blow this up here and take a look. Uh, at, at this, it, it almost looks like she's. Uh, let's just look at it here. I so. All right there. So as we see, she starts bobbing her head uncontrollably. That, I mean, that's not something you just do like that, especially if you're in public in a press conference. Not not even a press conference. It's, it's just reporters asking her questions. And let's watch it one more time. And and it, it, it or is it just a coincidence too that when this strange thing happens, when it happens, it, it is when the reporters start asking her questions. So I mean, she gets. So I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's definitely concerning. And, and watch it again. And when you see it, you'll see when it starts again is when the reporters start really asking her questions. So let's take a look at it again. So they, they start kind of all, all of them talking at once. That seems like what triggers it. So let's watch it again. And, and as you see, as you saw there, you know when they all the when all the commotion starts, that's when the uh, uncontrollably uncontrollable head shaking starts. And also, when it stops, she she says, "Oh, you, you have you tried the iced coffee?" Like, so she's obviously trying to divert shit or whatever the fuck. I don't know, but this is definitely a cause for concern here. Um, this is too. I felt I found this pretty fucking weird. Um, her face here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it just looks pretty fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know, it's like a normal person just doesn't really do that. So, I mean, that, that's cause for concern. This, I actually have a lot, of, I want to talk about this one for a bit here, so... All right, so she just goes blank there for a few seconds, and I actually got something here. Um, I think it's, this might be an absence seizure, it's called, and um, we have a few. I have a I have an example here of people having absence seizures, they're called, and we're gonna take a look at a couple here. So this kid was caught having one. His dad uh, was videotaping him and let's just take a look at it here so so it's almost like he blanks out for a couple seconds or a few seconds and then you know he regains his um, composure you know and then let's, let's take a look at this one this this girl again videotapes herself having a uh, absence seizure. My name's Brogan. Um, I'm 19. Blow or message me. Hope you enjoy.
So there's just a couple examples of absence seizures, and it looks, again, pretty similar to what she did in this uh, video here. Sorry about that. We, we had a uh, YouTube does that where it automatically goes to the next video, so let's rewind it and watch this one again. But sorry about that. So, like I said, very similar to absence seizure. So, that's what she could be having here. And if we search uh, absence seizure into YouTube here, or into Google here. Uh, I mean, we could do a little bit of reading about this uh, absence seizure, and um, yeah, I mean, it causes lapses in awareness. Sometimes while staring, they begin and end abruptly, lasting only a few seconds. Uh, it says they're more common in children. Um, they could be so brief that they're not detected for months. So it says they are. They cause a short period of blanking out or staring into space, which Hillary did. Um, they are caused by abnormal activities in the person's brain. So there's types. Um, it says they're most common for uh, between children ages 4 to 14, but it's also possible uh, for older teens and adults to have absent seizures, but it's, it's less likely. Um, so let's see if there's any more uh, info um, on it. Uh, um, but listen, I don't want to go on and on about it, but um, it, I just want to make the point that it seems very likely that there might be an absence seizure here. So then there's also the famous picture of Hillary being helped up the stairs. Um, and then today, uh, today's September 5th, actually September 6th right now, but she had the coughing fit today. Also... Two other great members of Congress, Tim Ryan and Joyce Beatty. And your mayor, thanks to Mayor Jackson. <coughs> and I hope, I hope that Ohio will send Ted Strickland to the Senate. <coughs> Now, behind me are some of the great labor leaders of our country. Randy Weingarten, once I get over my allergic reaction. So there's a, said, I think this was a, uh, said, this is the worst one here. So uh, that's basically it. She basically goes on for three or four minutes and coughs, <laughs> which she's done in the past before. Um, this is another concerning one. Where this, this, this is her doctor, rushes on stage and tells her to keep talking, you're okay. These other two people rush on stage, it seems just randomly, and just tell her you're okay to keep talking. And, it, and it's uh, really weird because if you search, I uh, forgot to pull this up, but um, many people think that th the same man was pictured carrying a diazepam pen, which is used to uh, stop... Um, seizures you choose to uh, stop the symptoms of seizures um, and it it looks like the pen he was carrying was might have been a diazepam pen here so cause for concern there as well and then more recently as well Hillary Clinton also said she could not remember briefings uh, due to having a concussion uh, that was in the uh, FBI reports that were just released so where it said, um, uh, this is freezing up a little bit, but if I could get down to the quote here, 
Um, here's lovely technology again, uh, not working, but if I could get down to the quote here, it says, it won't let me go down for some reason, but um, it said, you know, basically the FBI reports that Hillary had a concussion in 2012. Oh, there it is. Hillary had a concussion, and based on her doctor's advice, she could not... Fuck. <laughs> it's not working again. But, um... It's, it really said, based on the, the doctor's advice, um, she could only work for a few hours, and, um... She forgot FBI briefings, or, yeah, she could not recall every briefing she received. So there's definitely... And there's also more shit on this, but there's definitely cause for concern... Uh, about Hillary's health, there's been many things that have happened over the past couple months. I mean, and if you look at you know the bigger time frame, she's had many con she's had concussions, blood clots, she's on uh, Coumadin and, and, and I think on another medication. So there's definitely cause for concern about her health. She's not doing as many uh, appearances, uh, campaign ra rallies as Donald Trump is. She reg regularly takes many days off at a time. Um, so so. And just going by the fact that she's 68 years old, there should be cause for concern over her health. As there should be cause for concern over, over Donald Trump's health as well. I mean, they're both 60, you know, low 60s, early 70s. So yeah, I think they should be both um, medically checked by a team of independent doctors to ensure their health. Uh, because they are enrolling for a job that should be held for four years or eight years, and they should not just be kept alive for four or eight years. They should be, you know, have the stamina, have the energy. And by my estimation, Donald Trump looks like he has the energy to be president. I mean, look at what he's doing. He is going to. Me he did one day. He um, did a, did a rally in the morning or whatever. Then went to Mexico city to meet with their president and uh then came back to make an, a very important speech on immigration and i mean he's a workhorse he, he does it all that's and then you look at hillary where she does, she'll do like one rally and then she'll, she'll take a couple days off and then she'll do another one then she'll take a couple days off again uh, oh and then she'll cough at a rally for fucking five minutes i mean i mean she is not presidential material she uh, you know going by what i've been seeing her do I mean, I'm not wishing uh, harm on her. I'm not saying she's got, you know, a seizure problem or a brain tumor or anything like that. I'm saying that just going from a lay person who has done some research on seizures and, you know, ever since I have um, seen Hillary Clinton's health, uh, I think she might have she might have had an absence seizure. And all I know is that a normal person does not do uh, that head bobbing that we just saw. So to, to end this video here, I just want to show this one more time because if this will fucking load, but a normal person does not do the head bobbing. Um, so indefatigable. I do admire that about she, you. Know, a normal person does not bob her head like that. I mean, I don't know what the fuck that this, this, this was, but there's cause for concern when somebody does this. I mean, holy shit. And also, she has not had a press conference for like 280 days. Maybe because of this, maybe because when she's confronted, maybe because when she gets stressed out, this is what happens. I mean, look at that. Yeah, you gotta try, try the cold chocolate. You, you know what? Fuck you, Hillary Clinton. I mean, it, it's pretty clear that something is wrong with her looking at this video. I don't know what it is. I don't know how... To, to what extent it is, but I mean, a normal person does not do a lot of this shit, like blank out, you, you know, I don't know where, where the fuck, yeah, it goes blank, you know, a normal, normal person does not do that, I mean, maybe, uh, you, you could stutter, you know, you get nervous in front of a big crowd, but that look in her face, like I said, definitely, definitely looked like an absence seizure, so there you go, people just wanted to cover that, Hillary's health looks like it's in the shit, and if her health's not in the shit, well, her policies are definitely in the shit. So that's uh, the top reason not to vote for her. But, I mean, her health definitely definitely looks like it's not good. So there you 